Welcome back to the Slime King speedrun series. Today we're going to check out the Echoing Entrance level 10. That means we're halfway through the Echoing Entrance levels. Alright, this level is... I like this level. Uh, it kind of makes you put a few skills together. Um, at the very start you've got... all you, you can only jump to a wall jump and then you're going to kind of make your way up whether you want to keep going right or jump off the left one here and then some island traversing and then some more wall jumping finally making your way to the top all right so that's that's kind of the layout of the level there's a few ways that you can get through it um this way isn't really that viable i don't think it's gonna save you time over just coming here because you have to you have to land here anyway so it might save you a little bit of time, but it's I, I would say it's not worth it. Um, the main time save we're going to be looking at is coming up through the gap right in here, or right above where I am. And we'll, uh, we'll go over the ways to do that. I'd say the most challenging is like that. But uh, we'll look into that in a second. So let's just go with the easy route. We'll get a fast time for the easy route. We're going to jump, jump, jump. I think that's going to be faster. Oh, you know what? I don't actually know. You think it's faster just to hold right? Let's try that. We'll hold right the whole time from the start. And then... What you gotta do is, actually, you don't want to land here. Just hold jump, you'll skim the top of, as long as you're near the edge of here, when you hold jump and press right, you'll skim the top of this, land on the bottom there, and then you can just jump straight up again. <laughs> so, like that, and then, ideally, I hit that, land there, is that possible? Maybe not. Maybe you can only really land on the first one. You get kind of a low, low hit on there. It's gonna be... yeah. I'm just gonna... we'll just play it safe. Land on the first one. Oh, it doesn't set us up very well though. Five, ten. All right. Oh, I think that'll work. Let's try that. So we're just going to hold right, and then when we land here, we're going to do another big jump, hit that ceiling, and then just go hold left, basically. Oh, I keep forgetting. Oh, that was pretty good. Ooh, we're getting close to that record up there. Ah, I bonked. I bonked going left. Oh, I did it again. How do you get 432? Huh. I don't know if the 432 was done from this route, but... I think that that feels pretty consistent. Unless you do that. <laughs> yeah, this jump here is the hard part, but you can just slow it down slightly. Don't lose a whole ton of time. Um, and you're you're really just holding two directions, so it's not that hard. You just have to get the jumps right. So now let's look at the fast route up through here and actually it, like from this angle I thought I thought you could do this but I don't think you actually can even if I hold to the right on that jump I can't make it through we need to get higher and to get higher we have to use this left side because this left side lets us get a little higher so I'm gonna go I'm gonna hold left and then as soon as I get onto this wall I'm gonna stop holding left 
and then I'm gonna go above the block zone to where the spikes are, but I'll still be fine because I'm not holding left any longer. And then once I get back down to the, the wall, I can jump off of it. Um, that's one strategy. It's the easy strategy for me. Oh, <laughs> we're getting close. <laughs> it's the easier strategy for me. Um, but if you want to, you can just, you know, do a jump and then go for it. All you really need is to be about halfway through here. You don't have to be at the very top, so. And then you don't even have to hold to the right when you're coming off of this jump. You just have to not be holding left because otherwise you're going to jump straight into there. So just, just a little bit. Just wait a second before you hold to the left. That was pretty fast. I need to know if it's faster just to go left. I think it's faster to... So once we get to the top, it seems faster to kind of zigzag back and forth than to just stick on the left here. Yeah, that was slower. Ooh. I'm gonna try I'm trying not to hit the uh, the first ceiling here because that's gonna actually diminish my height and make me a little slower. Oh, that was a good one. The key is just to, yeah, not hit that and then to just get through everything as fast as possible. Oh, that was pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'm sure you can go faster. Um, you can get to this wall slightly faster and then the, just the whole jumping left and right might have, might be able to be done faster. I'm not sure because you do have to clear the top area up here as well. So, but that's the speedrun strategy for this level. Um, I find it to be decently consistent. So, um, you've got your options there. Hope you all enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next one. Check out the links in the description to learn more about the true Slime King.